Welcome to this week's Whiteboard Wednesday. My name is Scott Holt, and I'm a product specialist for Rapid7's security orchestration and automation solution, Insight Connect. Source solutions can be used to automate pretty much anything that you'd like to, but today I want to talk about a specific use case we see at Rapid7, phishing investigations. Many of our customers are using source solutions to automate investigating a number of alerts, but one of the things that they most commonly face is user-reported phish emails. We've reached a point where users are reporting potential phishing messages with an increased frequency, which is great, but it's also overwhelming security teams. With automation, we can significantly shorten the time it takes to investigate each one of these alerts. You'll start with ingesting a potential phishing alert, and these can be received in a number of different ways. You can do this via an API integration with an email service provider of your choice. Uh, with the source solution, you can also set things up so that when a user submits a message with a report fish button or by forwarding it to a specific inbox, it'll automatically trigger a workflow that will walk through your company's runbook or playbook. When the source solution receives the data, you can begin to parse out different indicators that may be of interest in the email. With Insight Connect, we have utility plugins that allow you to automatically parse out header details, IPs, URLs, as well as attachments. Once you've parsed out the indicators, you can enrich them with data from a variety of sources and look for a solution that integrates with a number of third-party products out of the box, including threat feeds. So for example, with Insight Connect, we can review IPs with a Whois lookup. We can check it against open source IP feeds like Abuse IP Database, or integrate commercial enrichment tools like Anomaly to provide context for any of our indicators during our investigation. Many of our customers will also hash the included attachments and check them against sites like VirusTotal. You can take it a step further and pass any of the included files to a sandbox of your choice for detonation. Next, you'll collect the results automatically and include them all within a final report. Based on your workflow, these results should be provided to an analyst who can choose whether or not it's malicious based off of what we call human decisions. From here, customers typically integrate a step in their workflow to pass a completed report with threat enrichment data to an analyst. This can be done inside of the console or it can create alerts inside of an existing ticketing, chat, or email service provider. Once the analyst receives the alert, they can make a decision on how to proceed. Finally, a source solution helps teams automate the remediation process as well. If the analyst were to choose the remediation path, you may want to delete the original email, delete matching messages across your email server, and even set up a rule to feed those IOCs back into a firewall or email security gateway. The specifics are up to you and your organization's needs, but this is one way everyone can take advantage of automation today. With Insight Connect, we also provide pre-configured workflows so that you can jump right into the process like automating phishing investigations, even if you don't have a defined playbook right now. To learn more, visit us at rapid7.com slash Connect. That's it for this week's Whiteboard Wednesday, and we'll talk to you next time.